Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Karina, also known as Onchi Lashes, here on YouTube. Today's video, today's topic is going to be all about feminine hygiene. I'm gonna show you guys a haul. Um, I recently went to Walmart and I bought a few new items that I've been eyeing and some repurchases. You guys, it's been so hot out here. Lord knows it's been burning hot. So I'm gonna show you guys how I stay fresh and clean during the hottest days of the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. I do upload three times a week, so make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on your bell notifications so you're always notified of when I post videos. So, with that said, if you guys have your coffee, I have my cafecito today. Clink, cheers to you guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this feminine Walmart hygiene haul. I have never made a coffee this good. I don't know what I did. There's days that I make the coffee better than others. Mm. But today's cafecito is so bomb. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with this haul because I have been dying to show you guys what I bought. P.S. If you guys want to see more videos like these where I do hauls or come shopping with me, let me know because I do have a video coming up very, very soon and I really hope you guys like it. First things first, I have been on the hunt for a new razor. So I've seen tons of commercials and just advertisements and just anything you can think of from the brand Joy. I wanted to try a new razor. Right now I'm using the Chic razors, but they're like the cheapy ones, like the disposable ones. I buy them in a big case from Costco. It comes with like 20 of them or like 18 of them, something like that for like 25 bucks. But I feel like it doesn't give me a close enough shave. So I like to be silky, soft, and smooth. I shave my arms, obviously my armpits, my legs, um, my private area as much as I can because now that my belly is getting huge, like it's so hard to see down there. So I wanted to try something new and I've heard so many good things about this Joy Brands and I would love to know what your favorite razor is from the drugstore because if this doesn't work out for me, then I'm gonna have to try something new. So I got the teal one and this comes with your razor and two cartridges. I'm excited to try this one. I've never tried this specific brand. So again, let me know your thoughts if you guys have had this and also how often do you guys change your blades because I also suck at changing my blades. I feel like I change them once they're super, super dull. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. Hopefully it doesn't give me any razor bumps because unfortunately I do suffer from razor bumps, especially in my armpit area. So Along with the Joy razor, I also bought the Glee, the shave gel. I have tried this and this is actually a repurchase. I tried the pink one and I really like it. It does have that gel consistency and it's a little bit like creamy and thick. And I like that it's not so like watery. I don't know, I've tried other ones that I just, I wasn't a big fan of. And this is something that I feel like I'm gonna stick with and of course, I had to do like teal and teal because I am just extra like that. Next up are one of my favorite products. This is a repurchase from years and years and years of using it. I personally love using um, panty liners. So these are the ones that I use. I actually don't think these are the exact ones that I use. I usually buy them in those little baggies, but I wanted something that was going to come in a big box. So these are the Carefree Original regular size panty liners. These are unscented. I love using panty liners every day. This is what they look like. They're just really small. And for me, it's important to use panty liners because obviously we are women and we have a discharge. And I just like that these keep me nice and clean. And I use them every day. I never go without using them. I also like that they have longer ones if you want longer panty liners. They also have um, for thongs if you use thongs. Sometimes I buy those, but I find that these work just fine when I'm wearing a thong. So talking about Lady Parts. So this is a product that I've been using for about half a year now. This is the Dove Sensitive Skin Beauty Bar. I love this stuff because obviously it's meant for sensitive skin. It doesn't have a scent to it. And this is the only thing that I will use for my private parts. I won't use anything else. My body washes will 
be specifically for my body and I only use a tiny bit because I know that you're not supposed to put anything down there you're really only supposed to wash it with water I just personally like to cleanse it from the outside never from the inside you never want to put anything inside because you can cause yeast infections or things like that that we don't want so I do use a tiny bit of this and these last me a long long time all I do is I'll just get it with a little bit of like warm water and just get it a little bit soapy again you don't need a lot and I'll just you know rinse my my booty and <laughs> my lady part so that's what I like to use I really feel like this does truly keep me fresh and clean and it doesn't irritate my skin I've never gotten any yeast infections or any nothing a UTI nothing I've never gotten anything like that by using a bar of soap so again I would love to know what you guys used for your lady parts um, do you guys use a soap like a bar soap or do you guys just use water and you know everybody has a different Everybody has personal preferences, so whatever you guys use, it's cool. I wanted to try a natural deodorant. So this is the Native Deodorant. I picked up the shade Lavender and Rose. This is paraben-free and aluminum-free. I've heard um, Jasmine Juicy Jess here on YouTube. If you guys haven't checked her out, you have to check out her channel. She talks a lot about this Native Deodorant because she's like into like all natural stuff and natural ingredients, and so I was like, you know what? I want to try something new so so far I really like it the only thing that I don't like I'm not a fan of white bar deodorants like I like either the gel or the aerosol so I'm not sure if native makes a gel form of this deodorant which if they do let me know because I will run to the store and get it I'm really excited to keep trying this and I really hope that this like just combats like the bad order that your armpits give when it's super super hot outside um, so yeah definitely been liking this so far I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated as far as if I love it or not the next product that I picked up is actually something that I've never before bought so I've never really been or I've never gotten into the habit of exfoliating my skin. I see a lot of people talking about sugar scrubs and things like that. I did try the Dove exfoliating scrub. I actually did a video like this, a feminine hygiene haul a few months back if you guys want to watch that. I will have it linked up here and also in the description box. But I I wasn't a fan of it. I felt like the beads weren't rough enough and I really wanted something more of a sugar scrub to really exfoliate my dead skin. So I went to Walmart, obviously, <laughs> and I found the Tree Hut Firming Sugar Scrub. This is mocha and coffee bean. And oh my God, if you guys are coffee lovers like me, you are going to die when you smell this. This smells Oh my god, I wish you guys can smell this. Smell it through the screen. It smells so delicious. I'm really excited, you guys, because I've never tried anything from Tree Huts. With that, I wanted some gloves because I do have long nails, and every time that I use any scrub, it gets all under my fingernails, and like it literally gives me like ansias. So I found these gloves. These are not the ones that I originally wanted. I seen some different ones, but they were all sold out. So these are a two-in-one, so you can use the gentle glove to gently clean the body and use the exfoliating glove to smooth out rough skin. I'm not sure which one is which. I think this one's the soft one, and I think this is the rough one for exfoliating. I'm not sure, and it doesn't say, so I guess I'm going to have to, like, try it. But I am just excited to try these and to really exfoliate my skin. Next up is body wash. I actually saw these, and these were recommended to me by one of my best friends. Her name's Allison. Um, she tried this Olay Cleansing and Firming Plus Collagen body wash so it's this one they have two different scents but this is the one that smells so good to me I'm gonna open it because I forgot what it smells like oh it smells delicious you guys and it claims that it firms the skin in just a week so we're gonna see about that but the packaging literally is what sold me and the scent is what sold me so um I guess I'm kind of okay if it doesn't do the rest as far as like firming and collagen because I don't really expect that from a body wash but I just love to smell super yummy after I get out of the shower 
Also with that, I bought the Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. This contains shea butter. After you've cleansed yourself, you want to massage this into your body and then rinse it off. So it's supposed to give you like a lotion feeling, but I personally wouldn't stop there. I would apply lotion after I've applied this, which brings me to my next product. This is the Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Advanced Anti-Aging Body Lotion. I usually like to stick with the same name brand of my body wash and my lotion. So again, I've never tried any Olay body lotions and this one what really caught my attention was what it says in the back so it says that it improves elasticity which again I am pregnant so my belly is stretching out I have not gotten any stretch marks so far you guys and I'm going to be applying this on my belly like a mad woman it also relieves dryness deeply conditions the skin it brightens dull skin it evens the skin tone it smooths rough skin and it minimizes the appearance of fine lines which the Olay Body Wash also claims to smooth rough skin, so I think these hand-in-hand hand are going to work really, really well together. I've already smelled this, and it smells so delicious, so I am just excited. Like, products like these make me excited to want to shower. Not that I don't shower, okay? <laughs> I do shower every night. I wash my body, but they just make me want to be, like, so joyful about showering. Does that make sense? Last but not least is a loofah. So I've been using a regular loofah for years and years and years. And when I was looking at the sugar scrub, I came across this bad boy. I've never used anything like this. This is by the brand Equal Tools. And this is the bath brush. And I love because this is uh, especially made to cleanse hard to reach areas. I love this because it's perfect for reaching like the back. Oh my god, I can just picture myself lathering this in my back and getting to all the areas that I usually cannot also with my growing belly it's so hard to like reach down to like my feet and my legs so this is just going to come in so handy the loofah is huge so I know this is going to be perfect okay you guys and that is the end of this feminine hygiene haul what do you guys think of the products that I picked up? Have you guys tried anything that I just purchased? What are your favorite products to stay super fresh and clean during the hot summer days? If you guys enjoy videos like these, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, I'm going to have a playlist somewhere here where you guys can watch content relatable to what I am talking about today. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, hauls like these. And with that said, until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.